Hey, hey, this is Ash. Welcome in. Um, today's June 1st. Hopefully, I can record this video and upload it today. Hopefully, not too late by tonight. Um, but um, I had a hard time recording this video. They're doing construction outside and like everything was just so loud. So hopefully I can just do this in one shot. Um, so I counted how many pages I did and I did 42. I was actually pretty proud of myself. I think that's the most I've done since starting in March. So proud of myself. So let's get into this. Um, I think right here is fine. I'll just put them off to the side. Okay, so this book I actually just got this month and I completely love it. Um, I want the whole collection. I really do. I think if I do get the chance to order another one like pretty soon, um, I'm definitely going to get the summer one. Summer is literally almost, he almost here. Sorry, I'm like a little too excited. So, um, I don't know how to say this, but this is Europa by Rita Berman. And here's the page that I did. I used my um, chalk pastels for the background. And I used these glitter pens. Oh, geez. I used these glitter pens that um, Jenny Pages told me about. And I love her for telling me this. I like about them because they're honestly amazing. I use Black Widow colored pencils. Those are also colored pencils that I absolutely love and I want to get more colors because the colors that I got, they're okay, but um, I need more, more options. <laughs> Here's another page that I did. Hopefully the lighting's okay. I literally just finished, I think yesterday. It actually took me quite a bit. I think I started on Sunday, but I was like a little busy this weekend. Um, I also used Black Widows and the, um, sorry, I don't know if you could see. I'm trying to like show you the glitter pens, but, um, and I used glitter pens. I think this whole book is just going to be colored pencil and glitter pens. Um, they're not one-sided, so yeah. I think that's like the best route to take. I also started off with putting a page in the back and then I forgot, I removed it. And then I don't know if you could see, but it was kind of transferring over. So anywho, there's that one. Where am I gonna put these books? Okay, sorry. All right, so here's Color by Number Flowers, Jade Summer. I only did one in here. I'm actually working on one um, right now, but I figured I'd, this is like the best time to do the video since it's quiet. Um, here we go. I used Tau Trees. Um, sadly, my Tau Trees are running out. A lot of the colors that I love to use are like a lot of the colors that most of the books ask for, like yellow, green, blue. Those are all running out, so which sucks. But yeah, I'm definitely going to work on this book a lot more this month. Okay, next is Chibi Girls Pre-Shaded. Um, four books in one, Jade Summer. Oh my gosh. First of all, I am so sorry. I don't know why I had it slanted. I'm like at an edge. Trying not to bump into the um, <laughs> camera. This is a buddy color I did with Mika and Jenny Pages. Jenny Pages has a YouTube and an Instagram. I don't think Mika has a, a YouTube, but she definitely has an Instagram. Um, I'll leave that down below. Um, but yeah, this I use my Ohuhus and I think a little bit of Tao Tree. I also use, let me see if I could show you. So I bought these at Walmart. I was gonna order them on Amazon but then I saw that um Walmart had them so I was like oh let me just go pick them up I'm disappointed they're like scratchy for me um so that stinks 
um we just think because the reviews that i saw for it were really good and it literally says smooth ink flow and i don't get that for me uh so but yeah sorry <laughs> um i'm so sad about this i get a little too excited sometimes and i forget to put like a blotter sheet behind so yeah this one is only ohuhu markers i actually have the set right here i can show you I forgot how much the set was. I think it was like 25 and these are like basically like skin colors. Um, obviously I use it for more than skin colors, but let me see. I think I have the, the chart here. I want to eventually put the chart in my book. I have a book where I have the chart, but yeah, there's that. I definitely recommend these markers. I'm like obsessed. Um, hold on, let me see if I could show you really quick. Kind of going off track. I was showing Jenny earlier. <laughs> this is my book. I'm like still working on it. I can't remember what YouTuber I was watching. I think it was like Potato Princess. She definitely doesn't know who I am, but pretty sure it was her. Um, but yeah, these are my Crayola Super Tips, which definitely helps me out when, um, I'm working in the Disney books. I try and like match them as, as close as I can. And then these are the alcohol markers that Jenny introduced me to since I was like running low and then I wasn't too crazy. Like I liked the Tao Tree markers, but I don't know. I kind of want to like see what else I can find. I definitely love the colors for this. Um, these alcohol markers, they're like really nice. They're like bright, I don't know. But yeah, there's my, my little book. Um, yeah, so this, this was just oh who's um, here's another page I did. Some of these pages, um, I upload kind of like short videos on TikTok. That's how I originally started. Um, and then when I saw like a few people were liking the videos I was making, I was like, you know what, I'll try, um, YouTube and then I moved it to Instagram. So now I upload in on TikTok, Instagram, and obviously on here if you're watching. <laughs> this is a buddy color I also did with Jenny and Mika, which I absolutely love how this came out. I don't know if you could see, it's kind of cloudy today and I don't have lighting in the living room, but this was strictly Ohuhu's, I want to say. Um, and I think the roses and like this is Tao Tree. And then I also used those those white um, Sakura gel pens. Um, and then actually the background, the glitter is um, these gel pens that I got from the dollar store that I'm actually obsessed with. Hold on a second. Let me see don't have like let me see if I can find it really quick I'm sorry Try, oh so I think it was like a four pack that I got there's no name on them but they I got them at Dollar Tree for a dollar it was a four pack came in silver like yellow green blue orange red that sounds like more than four colors <laughs> but I mean it could have been five um but yeah um, okay, so I have not figured out how to like upload um, side by side or like posting the pictures. So if I do figure it out before uploading this video, you'll definitely see um, their pages. But if not, if you have Instagram, um, you should definitely check them out. Here's another page I did. I did this one on the 8th. Um... I like how she came out. I kind of like had an idea and it didn't really go onto the page, which is okay. It like happens. Um, I f I've never been to Paris. I'm thinking this is in Paris. She has like the Paris outfit. And I don't know. I figured the buildings are bright, but it didn't, I don't know. It didn't really come out as, as much as I'd like. I definitely like how she came out. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. This one I absolutely love. 
Um, I The only thing I'm not too crazy about is her eyes. I'm definitely not good at chibi eyes. I never know what how to color them, how to make them extremely pretty. That's something that I definitely want to like search um, and work on. <laughs> um, this is... I outlined with Cali Arts. Um, the rest is Tao Tree and Dohuhu, I want to say. And then there is some glitter, which is um, the dollar store glitter pens. This is another one that I did. That I actually like because she's in the garden. This is... It's crazy. I actually don't know. I think this is just Tao Tree. Um, yeah, Tao Tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I was like trying to think. This is definitely just Tao Tree. Um, here's another one. These I definitely did like at the beginning of the month. This is the sixth. So as, as soon as I got this book, I went a little crazy. Um, which I still do, but not that much. Um, this is just Tao Trees. I think she came out kind of cute. <laughs> I the thing I like about this book is um there's like a lot of details in the background. Um, it's not like the other chibi books that I've seen, which is nice. Um, okay. This is a body color I did with Mika just over the weekend. Um, I like how it came out. I honestly didn't know what colors to do for this one. I like started on like her and then I started on the cake and then I absolutely love how the cake came out. Kind of looks more of like a wedding cake, but yeah, it's not bad. Mm. And then this is the last page in this book. I think this one's like chibi horror. This is definitely Ohuhu and Tao Tree. Okay, so there's that. Try not to hit the camera. Okay, next is princess and cartoon characters, dots, lines, and spirals. I only did two pages in here. Here's um Penelope from Wreck It Ralph. Pretty sure that's her name. I used black gel pen. Um this one I had to take like a little bit of break in. I think I was just like I kinda wanna say I was coloring it in wrong. I don't know. Like I was like trying to like really stay in the lines it was weird what i was doing i don't know i don't know if like the gel pen for the dots is like the best i feel like i should have used like an alcohol marker maybe um this one i used a cali yard um markers the cali yards that i ordered hold on let's see these i'm sorry i'm like showing you everything these i really like um these don't bleed through for me um and i actually initially got them so i could have more options when i worked on my disney these were like really nice and actually it was pretty cheap too and they've lasted me um so yeah i used Brown Caliar. I figured I'd do brown because it's Mr. Potato. <laughs> um, I know there's like one, there's like a few in here. I think these are all the pages that are in here. I know there's one with um, Elsa. And I definitely want to do that one like blue or something. Okay, here's color by number for adults. Some like drawing, women's world. I love this book. I went super crazy in it last the month before um but I didn't really work on it that much this book definitely took up most of my Tao Tree markers that's for sure this one's from Japan not too crazy about the colors I don't know they kind of don't make sense to me 
Like I like this green. I don't know. <laughs> Here I <laughs> was running out of blue and I tried to save it and then I gave up and I was like, you know what, it happens. Um, this girl's from the Netherlands. I love that it says where the girls are from or the women, sorry. Mm, do I have one more in here? Yes, I do. This one's Korea. I actually really like this one. I don't know if it's because there's purple in it. Because I love purple. But yeah, I'm actually almost done with this. This is definitely a book that's going to be done before the end of the year, which is pretty cool. Um, I've seen a few people like kind of like pick a few books. Sorry, the camera's shaking. I definitely bumped into the camera. Um, I've seen a few people um, kind of make a goal on like what books to kind of focus on, but I don't know. I don't think that's me. Sometimes I'm like in different moods, so I kind of just pick up a book in whatever mood I'm in. Okay, sorry. Country Chibi's Coloring Book by Alexandra Francis. So I found her, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in another book, but I found her um, on TikTok and... At the time, I wish I found out about her sooner because I was like ordering all these other books and then by the time I wanted to order more, I didn't have the money for it, but I'm, I'm glad I got a chance to get a copy of hers. Um, okay, so here's the front. I forget what you call this. And it stinks because I can't remember. Like the front page, the first page, I guess. Um, but yeah. Here's the front. This is um, Ohuhu's and Tao Trees. I was kind of upset that I went out of the line a little bit. Uh, this is me coloring in the dark. I need to get like a, a dust lamp for sure. Here's another one that I absolutely love. Um, this is Sunflowers. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. This is Tao Trees and um, Ohuhu's, um, but I do love Sunflowers and I love how it came out. These are those Sakura um, gel pens. Like, they definitely do the job, but if I go in super close, I don't know if you could see. Like, it's scratchy and I don't know. For the price, I definitely don't think it's worth it. Here's another one. Oh my god, I just want to point out, I'm sorry about my chibi eyes. They're horrible. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like really not good at them. This page is super cute. This whole book is cute. All her artwork, it's like super cute and like easy and like there's so much detail to it, but like in a small sense, if that makes sense. My gel pen smudge there. But I put um glitter on her eyeshadow. I'm like spacing out right now. But this is like Ohuhu and I think Tao Tree and um, I used the white gel pen. Okay, last page in this book. This one <laughs> I love so much. I, um, I kind of gravitate to like neutral colors a lot or like pastel. I don't know. There's something soothing. Um, I don't know. I just love them. But yeah, this is, I want to say this is strictly Ohuhu, the pack that I had showed you, except for the eye. That's definitely Tao Tree. So that's that book. I really hope you guys could see all my, like the full page. And I'm sorry if I'm like a little slanted. But this is like the best way for me to flip it, like for you guys to see it. Um, okay, sorry. Mermaid TV Girls by um Alexandra Francis. When I saw this came out, this came out literally oh well last month. Um, when I saw that the this book came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I need it. And I literally ordered it the next day. Here's this girl. I sometimes like when I look at a book like a page I already like know what I want and like what colors I want to use and this one I definitely saw pink right away and like blonde hair because her curls 
I mean, curls could be any color, but for me, I saw this page as like, she had blonde hair and like a lot of pink. Um, I used gel pens, oh hoo hoo. Tau trees. I'm sorry if I'm like rambling, I'm a little nervous. I'm also trying to hurry up before it gets loud outside. Here's another one that I just did the other day and I just hit the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this one's Tau Trees, glitter pens, oh hoo hoo. Here's another one. I tend to, I, I noticed or, um, last month that I tend to make my chibis redheads. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, okay, here's another one. This is Ohuhu and Tau Trees. And I lightly um, used um, chalk pastels for the background to kind of make it look like she's underwater. I think it could have probably um, put a little bit more, but this is what I did. <laughs> and this one I literally just did two days ago. <laughs> Um, this one is Ohuhu Tau Tree and then Cali Art for like some of like the outline for some stuff. I definitely love to like outline and then usually um, outline dark and then color and light. That's how like I was taught and I just can't seem to step away from it. Especially like her hair. I don't know. I like really love it. It's like so bright. I really like the colors that I used. I feel like I kind of went out of my comfort zone for uh for this page. So that's that. Okay. We're like kind of halfway. We have like maybe five more books left. Hopefully I didn't miss anything out. Okay. So here is um Creative Haven Sea Life Color by Number by George Tufexes. I love this book. I, um, I love fishes and like the underwater. So this book was like a must. Um, okay, I'm sorry that I'm a little out of frame. I'm also sideways. So do bear with me. I'm sorry. This one I used the Cali Arts, the ones that I showed you. Um, which I really like. <laughs> the detail in this book is like, ugh. It's like really good. It's very pretty. Like, don't get me wrong, but um, I wear glasses and it's like really hard to see some of the numbers. Um, also, some of the stuff, like, I'm like confused. I don't, I haven't seen anyone color this actual page yet. Um, so it says like w number one is like a black shadow. I don't know what a black shadow is. And then, um, Here's the answer key, and it's like so tiny, so I just left it white. Um, yeah, sorry. Here's another one that I did. Let's flip it this way. They're definitely time consuming for sure. Let me see if I could show you just like. Here's the blank page. Do you see the numbers? They're like so tiny. Some are like even more tinier and it's just like, ah, uh, but I love it as much as I'm like, ugh. So there's that. Again, I'm sorry that everything's like sideways. Um, yeah, okay. Um, here's 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova. I'm upset with myself. I only did one in here and I wanted this book so bad. Um, and only one page, I'm upset with myself. I definitely could do better. I actually have a buddy color um, that I'm going to do this month that I definitely need to work on. Because she told me about it this weekend. So I definitely don't want to be behind on that. Um, here is where I tested out those Arteza, um, watercolored pencils that I didn't like for, at least for myself, um, which stinked. Um, so, oh, hoo, hoo, oh, hoo, hoo, gel pens. 
And then I just lightly colored it in with those pencils um, to just finish it up. But yeah, it stinks. I, I really didn't like those pencils. So there's that. Okay, we have three more books to go. So here's Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 1 by April Amber. I have all three volumes of these books and I love them so much. Here's this one. I used Ohuhu's and like Tao Trees. Some glitter too. And the apple. <laughs> This one I did with Jenny. We chose only one color for this page. I can't remember if it was me or her that chose the color or the page. My memory is like horrible, but um, sadly my Tao trees were like all failing on me this day. I was like stressing out. I was just trying to finish and like every marker I would pick up like Especially, obviously, it was only the purple ones, but all the purple ones were just dying on me. So I ended up using, like, the Cali art in the back. Oh, I was stressed with this page, but I'm glad I finished it. Uh, okay. Here's another one I just did. This was just me. Um, this is, like, oh, hoo -hoo. No, this is Tau Trees. Just Tau Trees, I believe. I kept it pretty simple. Sorry. This one I absolutely love. Jenny's page came out super cute too. Um, this one is only pink. Um, for whatever reason, on camera and like on pictures, her hair is like different, and I I was just so frustrated that day. But it, it's definitely pink. It's from like my Ohuhu set, along with her dress. It's definitely pink. I just, I don't know. But yeah, this is Ohuhu glitter pens. I think, are these? No, I was going to say, are these the new gl glitter pens that I got the other day? But no, they're not. <laughs> and then I use the pastel in the background. I did it like very, very lightly. This one, I really like this one. I don't know, it's like simple. Um, I used Ohuhu Tao Tree. I used like this white marker. Let's see if I could find it really quick, I'm sorry. I got it from the dollar store. This was before me finding out like what it was that everyone was using. I'm still very new to like, um, the accents that everyone uses for their pages, which is like so creative. Okay, I lied, I can't find it. Um, but yeah. And then I added these dots. Um, yeah. I didn't really do anything with the background. I don't know why, but I didn't. <laughs> um, I'm trying to hurry up before it gets like way too dark. This one I did with my daughter. I got the idea from Potato Princess. Um, which is like the coolest thing ever. Um, so this is her side, this is mine. Sadly, I don't know how to evenly do the page. I definitely gave her the bigger side by mistake. We both used the Tao Tree alcohol markers. This might be Ohuhu, -huh. the skin. I think it came out super cute. She's definitely more creative than me when it comes to the, the chibis. I definitely go the more simple route. This one is kind of like a genie. I use Tao Trees and like those dollar store gel pens that I absolutely love. And then this is the last page in this book. I definitely like how she came out. Um, this is Tao Tree chalk pastels. Mm. Oh, Tao Tree. Do you see how it's like kind of coming? It's like a little streaky. I was running out. So there's that page. 
Okay, this is, we have one more book left. This is pre-shaded coloring book, um, Cute Fairies, Jade Summer. I only did two in here and I also have a whip. I like started, I colored in the skin of the fairy and then I never went back to it. I like how this one came out. I don't know, it kind of made me think like they're like siblings. So I gave them like the same um, kind of color outfit. At this point, I didn't have the glitter pens, which I wish I did because I definitely wanted to do more to it. Um, I planned on doing yellow for the stars and then I gave up on that idea. So there's just one yellow star. And then here's the next page. This one I'm pretty sure is on my Instagram that I posted. Um, this is like oh hoo hoo and tout trees. Okay, this one's Mystery Mosaics Color by Number Cartoon Characters. I love this book. <laughs> I love it so much. Again, I'm sorry if I'm like moving it too much. I definitely don't mean to. This is Donald Duck. This one I did literally the next day. This is Daisy. I like this book because, uh, let's see if I could show you just a blank one. You literally can't tell who it is. Um, and there's no answer key in the back, which I love. I'm one of those people who don't want to see the answer key. <laughs> I like to be surprised. So usually while I'm coloring it in, there's times where I'm like almost done where I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? Here's another one. <laughs> And, oh, I thought this was the last one here, Spongebob. This is definitely the page that I did that I was like, what in the world is this? This, um, the green little, like the dark green threw me off. I was like, what am I coloring in? Here's Cyborg. From Teen Titans. I love this show. And that's that. Okay, so that was it. Oh my gosh, I definitely feel like I breezed through that. Um, again, I'm sorry if I like spoke too fast um, or the camera angle was off. I'm definitely gonna try and work on that a lot more. Um, I just wanna say thanks for, for subscribing, for watching. Um, the past couple weeks I've noticed I've gotten like a few new people coming in, so I definitely am thankful for that and thankful for you guys watching. Um, also, thanks to Jenny. I'm pretty sure she watches. Um, thanks to Jenny for doing the buddy colors with me. Um, you guys should definitely go check her out. She's super sweet. Um, and yeah, until next time. Adios.